Hey guys, I'm back today with a review for you guys of the new um, Collectible 52 Deck V2 from the OneEyeJack.com. Now, before I begin, I want to mention that after starting to upload more videos on YouTube, I remember how long it takes to upload each video. The previous video I uploaded, which was an unboxing of this video, or this deck, was about only 2 minutes and less, and it took, let's say, roughly 6 hours to upload because the um, camera I'm using and also the um, software program I'm using um, converts these videos into full HD which is not a bad thing but also has its downsides but without further ado let's begin so the Collectible 52 deck was a um, deck produced by the one ijack.com each come with its each coming with its individual tuck box and I happen to get the Sentinels deck here you can see the 52 Collectible V2 and let's begin. So first off, we have two Jokers. One of them is, or actually no, there are two identical Jokers on the same deck. Coming from the red Cupid back. Mm, here is the gold Joker. And um, the other Joker I actually have in my um, signed card collection. Because I, I requested one from Jason. Right? So up next we have the Bad Robot deck slash Mystery Box deck from the king, on the king of spades here we have the carnival inferno deck on the queen of spades look at that artwork that is pretty amazing and here is probably the best card one of the best in the entire deck it's not the reprinted um silver monarchs is actually the original gold monarchs so one three eleven had to do a short run up because they um, didn't like the color. So this is actually gold and not silver and the background is navy. So you can look at that right there along with a matching color design for the jack of spades. Up next we have a vintage plaid, vintage plaid deck I believe this is Arizona red on the ten of spades. Here we have the carnival assassins deck nine of spades the blue Aladdin's deck, eight of spades, the white Aladdin's deck now, seven of spades, the white Artifice Tundra deck, very frosty look on the back design, six of spades, the B Watermelon deck, right here, the red Watermelon deck, five of spades, the um, Magic Castle deck, blue edition, blue version, Four of spades, the blue cube back right here to match the red one the jokers had. And here we have the red one. The red one. The red cube back on the two of spades. Up next we have the green crown deck. I believe this is excuse me. Green crown deck. I believe this is a V2 because you can tell with the shadowy effects on the edges on the ace of spades. The um Green Elephant deck, or actually no, I believe this is the Green Tsunami deck, if I got that right. One of the two. On the King of Diamonds, here we have the Eco Edition deck. Um, Queen of Diamonds, here we have the Magicon deck, 2012, I believe. With the Jack of Spades. One interesting thing to mention is that there are little accents of purple here, which I found very, very interesting. And very, um, what, so... Up next we have the purple artifice deck, 10 of diamonds, and the first edition um, artifice v1 deck. Not the origin, not the one they have currently with the blue board or with the white borders, but the one with no borders. Nine of diamonds. Here we have the Erdnase Smith back deck. You see little Erdnase hands right there. On the um, wait for it to focus. There we go. Eight of Diamonds. Up next we have the Maroon or Red um, 125th Anniversary deck on the Seven of Diamonds. Up next we have, wait, let me get this right, the Necronomicon deck. Hopefully I got that right. <laughs> A deck funded on Kickstarter on the Six of Diamonds. Up next we have a Black Tiger white with White Pips on the Five of Diamonds. Here we have the one of the early editions of the Breast Cancer Awareness deck where they can where they're actually allowed to change the back design 
on bicycle. Now they aren't allowed to do that because of copyright reasons. Next we have the red Asura deck. You can see the warrior face right there. Very intricate. Three diamonds. Here we have the rainbow deck. All the colors are rainbow on the back design. Two diamonds. Up next we have the Bicycle Gargoyles deck, one of the earlier decks produced by Lance Miller. Next we have a Tragic Royalty deck, um, a deck that glows under UV light but has also been um, what criticized by many because of its poor handling. Up next we have the deck that matches the tuck, box, the tuck box it came with, the 311 Sentinels deck on the Queen of Clubs. Up next we have one of the most artistic backs. Here, the Bicycle Dead Eyes. If you want to see a review on this, check out my channel. I have a review of that up. Up next, we have the Bicycle War of Currents, a deck funded on Kickstarter. Right here. Up next, we have the Bicycle Doomsday deck with the skulls on the top and the depiction of the Mayan calendar and a compass in the center. Nine of Clubs. Up next, we have the Americana deck from the creators of the Bicycle Brimstone deck and Bicycle um, Quicksilver deck on the Eight of Clubs. Up next we have the Red Aladdins to complement the Blue Aladdin seen earlier. Seven of Clubs. Here we have the first edition, the original um, Jack Sellers deck, not the one produced by 311. On the Six of Clubs. The Up next we have the Carnival, um, the original Carnival deck on the five of clubs and we have the matching pair the carnival midnight deck here there we go on the four of clubs here we have a black teleo fan back deck three of clubs up next we have the uh, i believe this is another white um a white aladdin deck on the two of clubs here we have one of the additions one of the renditions the Ernest of the Card Table deck. Right here on the Ace of Clubs. And here we have an Arco Tahoe's deck. Right on the King of Hearts. Up next we have the, or this is a Rider back deck, by Bicycle Rider deck. Rider? No, Bicycle Raider deck. Sorry. On the King of Hearts. Then to complement the blue Magic Castle deck, we have the red Magic Castle deck here on the Jack of Hearts. And here we have, I believe this is the white Actuators deck, produced also by Lance T. Miller. And then we have the first edition Smoke and Mirrors deck. I believe this is the Mirrors edition right here, produced by Dan and Dave on the Nine of Hearts. Up next we have a Tally Ho um, circle back deck on the eight of hearts and here we have the transducer lava deck also criticized by many people because the um, actual back doesn't look like the back that comes on the box which I have to think is a little disappointing and to, and to match the um, first edition mirrors deck we have uh, the first edition smoke deck from Dan and Dave on the six of hearts also from Dan and Dave, we have a bicycle, um, actually no, a Fulton's October deck with the skulls right there, and little jack-o'-lanterns up in the corner. There we go. On the five of hearts, and here we have the bicycle tattoo deck. One of the decks I actually want to get, wanted to get, because the colors on here are absolutely stunning and very vibrant. On the four of hearts. Up next, we have a Bicycle Ryujin deck coming to you from Big Blind Media of the Three of Hearts. And then to complement the white actuators, we actually have the black actuators right here. A lot of compliments in this deck. On the Two of, oh, two of Hearts. And then lastly, last but not least, we have the Black Goat 2nd Edition. I'm pretty sure this is 2nd Edition. Can't be so sure of that. Maybe this one's even rarer. Okay, so the, finally we have the Black O Second Edition deck, and that was all, that were all the cards in the collect uh, in the 52 collectible excuse me deck from Jason from the OneEyeJack.com. Now, 
what I'm going to tell you guys right now is that you guys should absolutely go out and purchase this deck because, I mean, this is just art right here. This this deck is absolutely full of artwork. And hopefully you guys can snatch one up before they're all sold out and add one to your collection. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you guys like this um, video, give this video a thumbs up down below. And I'll see you guys next time.